So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to create a poll using PHP. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the basic HTML uh, structure for our page. So let's just do that now. So we're going to do uh, the doc type and we're going to say it's HTML. Then we're going to just open the HTML tag and close the HTML tag. Then we're going to do the head tag and uh, just a quick tip if you're using Sublime Text you can type in the word head and then hit the tab button and it'll automatically fill it out for you uh, and add the uh, closing tag. We can do the same for title so whoops. Uh, I'm just going to say poll and we can go down here and just do the same for body and we'll just say the page content goes here. So there we go, we have our page, our basic page set up. So now we're going to go into PHP by admin and we're going to create a, a table for our poll. So let's go uh, here and we're going to just create a new file and we're going to plan out our table. So we're going to call the table, um, let's say polls. Then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give, obviously we need an ID for each uh, row. We're going to give uh, a name, so the, each poll needs a name uh, or actually we'll use a uh, a poll ID. So we only need two uh, two rows for the uh, or columns I mean for the polls table. So we're gonna leave that like that, and then we're gonna go down and we're gonna uh, specify what we need for the uh, second table. So the second one's gonna be called questions. Uh, and in the questions table, what we need is uh, obviously the ID for each question, the question name. So we're just gonna say uh, question. Uh, we also need the number of um, uh, sort of people who have picked that question. So we're going to say, um, we'll just say num, or actually we'll say count. Then we're going to need the, um, uh, we're going to need the poll ID. So we'll say poll uh, ID. Uh, and we're also going to go up here actually and we'll create another one. We're going to say IP address. So that each person can only have uh, you sort of vote in the poll once, and we'll actually change this to votes. So that's all we need for the tables and the uh, sort of the rows for them. So for the first one, we have polls, so we need to add three rows. So let's go here, and we'll type in polls, and create three columns. The first one is ID. The second one is poll name. So let's just check down here. So the next two fields are actually poll ID and address. So let's just say poll. ID and address, whoops, IP address, uh, and then we're going to change this to a, a varchar and the IP address to a varchar because it's got uh, it's got uh, full stops in it. So we're going to just say the poll ID is 32 characters long, and the IP address is going to be um, I don't know, let's say, and the IP address is going to be a uh, 15. Uh, because if we do, for example, the Hogo IP address for the Hogo.org uh, website, it's 192.81.210.96, and obviously if we add these up, it's less than 15. Uh, and the reason, it, and the um, reason we're leaving it 15 is because this is less than 15 because uh, having 81 is the same as putting zero, and then another zero here. So this is actually the exact same IP address. For example, if I just paste this into the browser. Let's just go here. As you can see, we get the exact same uh, result. So as you can see, this is 15 characters long. So as you can see, this is 15 characters long. Um, and that's the maximum length an IP address can be, which is why uh, I've set the length to 15. We're going to go up here. We're going to set it the ID doc auto increment, and we're going to give it the index of primary. We're going to click Save. Now we've got the polls table created. We're going to create another one called Questions. And if we go down here, we can see how many we need. We need four uh, columns. So first one is obviously ID again. Second one is question. Uh, the third one is votes. And then the fourth one is IP. Uh, whoops, not IP address. Uh, the fourth one is poll ID so that we can relate each question to the poll it's in. So this has to be a varchar again, it has to be 32 characters long. Votes can be an int because that's going to be a number. The question has to be, uh, let's say, actually a text, just to make sure we have extra room. 
uh, and then we go up here again we set auto increment and index to primary for the uh, ID column so we have the two tables created now so let's go into uh, sublime text we can get rid of this and we can uh, start to work on our code so the first thing I need to do is I'm going to create a PHP block and in here what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use MySQLi this time I forgot to say instead of MySQL so we're going to say uh, we have to say connect equals uh, mysql i underscore connect and in here what we want to put first is the uh, server host which in my case is localhost next we want to give it the username which is root fourth one or in third we want to give it the password which is none and then fourth we want to give it the database name which is uh, polls uh, I think oh, it's poll actually so uh, the database is poll then what we want to say is uh, Query equals select. Whoops. Select all from a poll. Uh, let's say a polls where a poll underscore poll ID equals uh, poll ID. So we're going to get the poll ID variable from the uh, URL. So we're going to say poll ID equals get poll ID and obviously you could sanitize this with using um, with uh, PHP functions but for simplicity I'm just gonna leave it like that uh, it's obviously not very secure but it doesn't have to be for this uh, tutorial so now what we're gonna say is uh, mysql i underscore query uh, and then the only difference between this and uh, ordinary MySQL is obviously the MySQL connect function now uh, includes the database name in, uh, as one of its parameters and the uh, function is obviously called MySQL query instead of MySQL query and the only other difference is we put the connect uh, variable in uh, the first argument and then the second argument is the query we want to uh, sort of query get with the database against so now we've done that, uh, I'm going to say uh, echo, let's actually just say Q, so whoops. I'm going to assign that equal to the Q variable, and then we'll say echo mysqli underscore num rows Q. So uh, let's just uh, refresh the page, and we should get zero. Okay, so poll ID isn't... Uh, to find that just basically means we need to say, uh, whoops, question, whoops, sorry, uh, question mark, poll underscore, or I think it's just poll ID equals, and then we give it some random ID, so let's just say that. The variable is now assigned, and we get rid of that error. But obviously, this isn't a, there's uh, no polls that actually exist at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click insert. Whoops, I'm going to go back to uh, polls, and then click insert when I'm in the polls table, and I'm going to create a new poll called uh, test. Let's uh, actually we need a poll title as well. So we're going to structure. We'll uh, add it after ID. We'll click go and we'll say title. We'll set it to a varchar. We'll give it a 255 characters limit. And then what we're going to say is test poll. Uh, poll ID is going to be equal to test, and the IP address is going to be zero. I mean uh, empty for now. Now we're going to say poll ID equals test. And as you can see, we get one row returned uh, because we are selecting off from polls where poll ID equals poll ID, which is the variable up here. So we're getting one returned. So now that we've done that, we want to uh, actually retrieve the uh, rows from the database. So now what we're going to say is while. Whoops, uh, let's go up here. Uh, row equals mysqli fetch array and then we're going to say q uh, then we're going to say uh, down here id equals row and instead of uh, for example in mysql we would put in id uh, like a string we're just going to put in zero because we're getting the index of the columns from the array so we're going to echo id at the moment and we should get one echoed out to the screen. 
we actually already had one echoed out so that wouldn't make any difference but if we just on a uh, sort of comment that out and go back up here and refresh as you can see it disappears but when we uh, put it back in and echo it again uh, it echoes us one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste it in a couple of times we're going to get the poll title now uh, the poll ID and the uh, IP addresses so we just change these with one, two, three, uh, just going up. Uh, and as you can see, that's just, uh, if we click browse, we can see this is the index zero, this is index one, this is index two, and this is index three. So that's how we're uh, getting them out of the database. Whoops, and we need to go back here. And we need to change this to title, and we should get test poll echoed out to the screen. So let's refresh, and it says test poll. So that's it for this video, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.